Thank you, Chair. And uh, to our witnesses, uh, 13 years ago, uh, I was a congressional intern uh, here in this town when September 11th happened. I watched with great interest our country's response uh, to September 11th, and I watched uh, the creation, uh, Mr. Secretary, of your department. And this committee uh, became a, a full uh, standing committee. And now I think what we are experiencing with uh, the rise and spread of ISIL in the Middle East and our efforts to respond to it is exactly why this department uh, was created. And so first, I just want to thank uh, you, Mr. Secretary, and the two directors for the work you do every day uh, to answer to these challenges uh, to keep us safe here at home. Because while we're going to consider today what offensive measures we may take uh, abroad, uh, the critical component that I'm most concerned about is what are we doing here uh, at home. And so first, I just want to get out of the way uh, something that my colleague from Texas alluded to. Mr. Secretary, do we have any evidence of any of the following groups coming across our southern border? ISIL. Um, we have no specific intelligence that members of ISIL are crossing into the United States on our southern border. How about Hezbollah? Director Olson could comment more specifically or correct me on that, but well, I'll just That's go one by one, and if you think it takes further elaboration. How about Hezbollah? Yes or uh, no? Same answer. Okay. How about uh, al-Nusra? Uh, I believe the answer is the same. But again, um, I want to defer to my intelligence community colleague here uh, in terms of any assessments of the current environment. And, and may I also ask, in addition to uh, not stopping anyone or interacting with anyone or interdicting anyone who's coming across who is not a member of this, these groups, would it also be safe to say that the intelligence community has not collected any information in the various means and methods it uses to collect intelligence, that there are efforts underway to use the southern border uh, to go into the United States? I think that's, that's true, certainly with respect to the, your first question, Congressman, on ISIL. We, we've seen, as I mentioned, chatter on, from sympathizers uh, about that question, but we've seen nothing to indicate any effort to uh, enter the border, uh, enter the United States through the southwest border by ISIL. I was in uh, Jordan, Egypt, Morocco, and Israel uh, two weeks ago and met with our State Department teams and our allies over there. And my greater fear is not uh, the southern border, but uh, we were told uh, about the number of Americans uh, who are over uh, in Syria and Iraq fighting shoulder to shoulder with ISIL, uh, as well as the number of Westerners who are over there. And I was hoping uh, that you could elaborate on what we're going to do or what we are doing uh, to disrupt any plans of theirs uh, to return uh, to the United States uh, and carry out uh, with the tools and uh, hate that they've built and developed uh, abroad. Congressman, we've made enhanced efforts to um, track these individuals uh, within the various communities of the U.S. government. Um, as you heard me mention, um, we have enhanced our aviation security measures. We're making enhanced efforts. Uh, we've stepped up our dialogue with our, with our allies, with our, with our partners there. The President will chair a U.N. Security Council session next week on the topic of foreign fighters. Um, and we're considering a number of things to do that will give us more information from passengers, from countries, from visa waiver countries, um, so that we know more about individuals who attempt to travel. There's always law enforcement. I believe the FBI does a terrific job uh, from the law enforcement perspective of investigating and arresting people who, who attempt to join terrorist organizations, who attempt to leave the country. Um, and I believe our allies also understand the nature of this threat and are making enhanced efforts as well. And with the number of uh, foreign fighters coming into Syria and Iraq, uh, I have asked uh, you, Mr. Secretary, uh, and others from the Department that we really expedite uh, the number of uh, visa waiver countries who are participating in Interpol's uh, stolen and lost travel documents database, because I still remain concerned mm -hmm. after what happened uh, back in the spring with uh, the Malaysian Airlines disappearance, that two passengers uh, had boarded that flight uh, with lost or stolen passports. And I think now more than ever, uh, we need to make sure that we know uh, and have these other countries really step up their efforts to report to Interpol. Uh, and I, if you could just update us briefly on what we're doing to get these countries 
Congress. We've been having that dialogue with our with our allies, and I think they understand the the nature of that of that uh, issue. Great, and thank you again to each of you for what you're doing to keep us safe here. Thank you. And I yield back. Let me say this committee.